Good day everyone. This MTAP session is all about proving inequalities in triangles. I am Ramhale Sigafood of Doña Magdalena H. Gafood High School. Let us start with the inequalities in one triangle. We have the side angle inequality theorem which states that if one side of a triangle is longer than a second side, then the angle opposite the first is larger than the angle opposite of the second side. Given this figure, we have triangle FIN. If the measurement of side IN is 10 and the measurement of side Fi is 9, it means that side In is greater than side Fi. What is the opposite angle of side In? The opposite angle of side In is angle F. And what is the opposite angle of side Fi? It is angle N. So, if side IN is greater than FI, meaning angle F is also greater than angle N. Let us now have proof number one. Given triangle SET is an isosceles triangle, ST is equal to 15, SE is equal to 11 and ST is greater than SE. Using this figure, we will prove that the measurement of angle SET is greater than the measurement of angle STE using this two-column proof. We will provide the missing information needed. For the first statement, we have ST is 15 and SE is 11. So the reason here is given because you can locate this one in the given part. The second reason states that definition of isosceles triangle. What do we mean by isosceles triangle? We say that isosceles triangle has two congruent lengths. And looking at the figure, you can observe that SE and TE have the same marking, meaning SE is equal to TE. And then for the third reason, we have given. And the last given that we have here is ST is greater than SE. So that will be our third statement. And now, we will find out what is the opposite angle of ST? The opposite angle of ST is angle SET, which is greater than the opposite angle of SE, which is STE. And for the result, we have the side angle inequality theorem. Can you still follow? Great. Let's discuss the second one, angle side inequality theorem. And here, if one angle of a triangle is larger than the second angle, then the side opposite the first is longer than the side opposite of the second angle. We have here triangle ABC. Given that the measurement of angle A is 60 degrees and angle B is 30 degrees. In this figure, we can see that angle A is greater than angle B. We will find out what is the opposite side of angle A. The opposite side of angle A is side BC. And the opposite side of angle B is side AC. If angle A 
is greater than angle B, we can therefore conclude that side BC is greater than side AC. Let's have the third one. We have the side 1 plus side 2 is greater than side 3. In here, the sum of the lengths of two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. In triangle tag, TA is 12, AG is 15, and TG is 26. If we add TA and AG, their sum is 27. If we add TA and TG, their sum is 38. And if we add TG and AG, their sum is 41. Then, we can conclude that the sum of TA plus AG is greater than TG, which is the third side. And then the sum of TA and TG is greater than AG. Also, TG plus AG is greater than TA, meaning if we add the two sides, they are always greater than the remaining third side. We have here triangle ABCs with 4, 6, and 14 as the measurement of each side. Can 6, 14, and 4 be sides of this triangle? So, we will check if these three lengths are the possible sides of this triangle. First, we will add 4 and 14. So, that is greater than 6 and it is correct. And then we have 6 plus 14. Is that greater than 4, which is the remaining side? Yes, it is correct. And then, the last one, we have 6 and 4. Is that greater than 14? This one is incorrect. Meaning, these three sides cannot be the length of the sides of a triangle. Let's have the exterior angle inequality theorem. In here, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either remote interior angle. So using this figure, let us find out what are the angles less than the measurement of angle DAP, which is the given exterior angle. We can say, that the measure of angle DAP is greater than the measure of angle DMA because DMA is only 50 degrees. Also, the measurement of angle DAP is greater than the measurement of angle MBA. We will have now the proof number two. Given the figure, we need to prove that the measurement of angle BCE is greater than the measurement of angle DBA. Using this two-column proof, we will have the first statement, the measure of angle BCE is greater than the measure of angle CBA. So, the first angle to be considered here is angle BCE. This one is greater than the measurement of angle CDB because of the definition of exterior angle inequality theorem. Due to angle BCE is the exterior angle and CDB is a remote interior. Next, using the same angle, the measurement of this one, I am referring to this angle, the measurement of angle CDB is greater than its remote interior angle, which is this angle. We have the measurement of angle DBA. 
So we will apply also the definition of the exterior angle theorem. And then for the third reason, we have the transitive property. Transitive property means that if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C. Meaning, we will disregard the repeated term here. So we will have the measurement of angle BCE is greater than the measurement of angle DBA. That makes the proof of this given figure using this two-column proof. And for this part, let's have the inequalities in two triangles. Let's start with the hinge theorem, or also known as the SAS inequality theorem. If two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another, but the included angle of the first is larger than the included of the second, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. So using this figure, we will have angle O with 49 degrees and angle I with 40 degrees. So we can say that angle O is greater than angle I. And then we will compare their opposite sides. For angle O, the opposite side of it is side BD. For angle I, the opposite side is side TP. So, if angle O is greater than angle I, meaning side BD is also greater than side TP. That is the application of the hinge theorem. Let's have another example. Here, it is given that angle C is less than angle J. So we will find out what is the opposite side of angle C. The opposite side of angle C is side BS. And the opposite side of angle J is side EF. If angle C is less than angle J based on the given, we can now compare that the measurement of side BC is also less than the measurement of side AF. Let's have the converse of hinge theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another, but the third side of the first is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle in the first triangle is greater than the included angle in the second. Or this is also known as the side 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 or SSS triangle inequality theorem. Using this figure, we have two congruent sides and the third side have different measurements. We can say that Fn is less than Lp because Fn is 9 and Lp is 11. The opposite angle of Fn is angle O, while the opposite angle of side LP is angle A. So if side FN is less than the measurement of side LP, we can also say that angle O, when it comes to its measures, is less than angle A. Let's have this pair of triangles. As we can observe, SB and FA have different measures and SB is greater than FA because if we are going to talk about their measures, SB is 24 and FA is only 18. 
the opposite angle of side SB is angle C, while the opposite angle of side FA is angle J. How can we describe or how can we compare these two angles? Angle C is greater than angle J since SB is greater than FA. That is what we call the converse of the hinge theorem. Let us apply all our understanding in this proof number 3. Given AC is congruent to BC and AR is less than to BR, we need to prove that the measurement of angle ACR is less than the measurement of angle BCR. Using this two-column proof, we will provide the missing information. For the first statement, we have AC is congruent to BC, and that is from the given. Next, we have the second reason, which is the reflexive property. Which side is being shared by both triangles? We have, therefore, CR is congruent to CR because side CR is present into the two triangles. Next, we have the third reason, which is also given. So we will write here, AR is less than BR. It's pretty obvious, right? For side AC and CR, the included angle is angle ACR. And what is the included angle of side CR and BC? Their included angle is angle BCR, meaning angle ACR and angle BCR are the included angles. And for the fifth statement, we have the measurement of ACR is less than the measurement of angle BCR. Because as you can see on our two column proof, that is the last statement to be proven. And that is because angle ACR is opposite of side AR, which is less than opposite of BR, which is the measurement of angle BCR. So the reason will be the definition of the converse of hinge theorem. So you remember, if your final answer are angles, it is the converse of the hinge theorem. And the final answer are sides, that is the hinge theorem. That's how we can prove the inequalities in one and two triangles.